Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday's Lunch and Learn with Crystal Clear Oilers. So I'm Crystal, obviously you guys know that, most of you, but we are going to talk about how to open a class, how specifically how do I open a class. Now here's the thing, uh, you don't have to do it exactly like me. Uh, you can study different things. Um, I highly encourage you to pick a way that is very comfortable to you. But I want you also to realize that I have read books like uh, Starfish right, by Neil Anderson. I've studied Teresa Harding, um, and she is a double presidential diamond. Uh, and I just take their tips and the things that they say. And I really just kind of grabbed on to the fact that they said words matter. Words truly matter and how we, how we say them. So it helps us when we have a script to not ramble, to not keep going on. So it really helps in your entire class to keep it short, concise, just very um, pointed so people understand and they don't get confused. So that is key. If they're confused, a confused mind will not buy, okay? So I'm gonna talk to you first about the hostess part. So Sometimes you don't have a hostess. And then, uh, so a lot of my classes, I am the hostess. No matter what, I'm going to have a friend there. Typically, I'll have someone that knows me there. And then I will have them introduce me. If you can have someone introduce you, that little, that little component is about 30% of whether or not the people in the class will trust you and then listen to you. So you want, whoever it is, the person to introduce you. And I did do a little key thing, like a keyword, so that they know when I'm ready. And so before, while everything's getting ready and people are sitting down, they're filling out their drawing slips. Drawing slips are important to capture all the contact information. And so we do the drawing slips and then I'm talking to the host and I, or the person I want to introduce me. And I'll say, hey, when I say, all right guys, let's get started. That is their key, their prompt to introduce me. And then they can just say, hey, and it, it doesn't have to be long, it just has to be simple. But this is Crystal, this is my really good friend. She loves oils, she's really good about oils, she knows a lot. She's the one that introduced me to oils, and now I love oils. Like, and she can just go into that a tiny bit, and this kind of just edification, right? And then I, in turn, will edify her. So I'll say, thank you so much for, uh, like, say Megan, for instance. Thank you so much, Megan, for allowing me to come into your home. I had a really great um, time setting this class up and just planning it with you, and I truly appreciate that. And then I will give a hostess gift. So no matter what, no matter to me, no matter what, if they are going to be the enroller, no matter if they are, um, this is their first time, no matter what, if I have a host, I'm giving a hostess gift. And so usually keep it between five and $7. And if I can find on Amazon uh, some diffusers that are on sale, they go on sale all the time, grab some. I think they're about $7.99. Uh, so that's a little bit over the seven, but a diffuser makes people excited. And so if I say, oh my, I brought you this diffuser. I just wanted to thank you so much. Or you could do like a cute little mug with some candies in it. And then maybe a, a wild orange, which is two fifty. dollars nothing extravagant. Or think about the oils they don't have and maybe make them a roller or something special and put it in there and tie it up with a cute little purple bag or something and then present that to them. So that does two things. It allows other people to know that there's advantage to hosting, right? You're getting a hostess gift. The other thing that some people do, these are options. So the diffuser is something I've done a lot of and people like that. Or you could have a goodie bag and say, if three people showed up to the class, they get to, the hostess gets to go into the grab bag and get one thing out. And so for every three guests, they get to go into the bag. That's something you want to promote because if they have an incentive to get people to the class, then they will get people to class. And so it can be a little spray bottle that's about $6. They, you can do little packs of tiny drams. People love those. 
Uh, this is, you can take one of these out and have some in there. And these are just spray bottle tops. Or maybe one of the dollar books. Some customized roller bottles or empty roller bottles. The grocery bag. Lemon or wild orange oils, 5 mLs. Things that are not super expensive where you're going to break the bank. But people love to pick out their free stuff, their, their own gift, and they love free stuff. So we want to focus on that. So that is how I do hostess gifts. Um, if they are the one enrolling, I'll try to keep it to the minimum and do like the diffuser. That's just the, really quickly. If it is someone who's very interested in sharing, but they haven't gotten that far yet, then I want to have a bag so they can get some goodies out of there and get really excited. And it does another thing. It gets other people excited and then you can have them uh, host. And so I do the keychain. I don't think it was in there. The key, the doTERRA keychain with the drams in it, I'll put five or six drops of each. And at the end, when I talk about hosting classes, I will show that. So that's hosting. And I, I let people pass that around. So they touch it and then I continue to talk to them about their friends and how it would be really fun to have their friends together and learn some more about oils and that it's not a party. It's really as an educational experience. And I, I probably ask three times in the end and I have my calendar out. And then before they leave, I say, oh, did you want to pick one of these dates that I have left before they fill up to get your friends uh, into a class? And sometimes um, I probably get one, at least one per class as long as I'm doing that, that keychain, one host, new host. Okay. So that's hosting. Let's talk about, let's talk about opening a class. Now, if you listen to the experts, they talk about how opening a class, when you, you actually close the class in the beginning, part of your close is in the beginning. So some of what I do is psychologically intended to get people ready to want to, to buy the oils at the end, okay? So I'm gonna show you the different things I use in my class. So I always have this handout, which you can get at um, Rock Your Biz in the file, Rock Your Biz together in the file section. It's just the family physician's handout, the purple highlight at the top, and then the list of common ailments, right? That's something that you're gonna need if you do it like I do. This one is just your natural solutions handout. I do have them turn, which you will see, to the price page. So I have them turn there. And then you're gonna be pointing out this part at the very end. So you don't have to worry about that. So those are the things. And um, then a sheet of paper. And so it can be printer paper, or whatever you want. I like to give them paper to take notes. All right, so this is how I would start the class. So after, let's just say I now said, okay, everybody, to respect your time, I let's go ahead and get started. And then my hostess introduced me and I edified her as well. And then I'll say, so uh, I have a couple handouts in front of you. Why don't you grab those and we're gonna go through them. And so I'll tell them what they are. Say so this is the this is just a list of common ailments that are have a list of oils right next to it that help you. So it'll have allergies, maybe some uh, bug bites or a cough. And right next to it, you can quickly know which oil to grab. But I want you to realize this is a list of common um, conditions, common problems. Something more complex, more difficult to handle like cancer, lupus, or rheumatoid arthritis, those are gonna be in the book. I point to the book or lift up the Essential Life book. Those are gonna be in the book, but not everyone has that book yet. Now this page, turn the page, this is the class we're gonna go through. It's a basic outline. So feel free to mark this all up, take notes, uh, because it's a lot of information. And what I want for you to have is everything you've talked about, we've talked about, when you go home and think, and think about everything that you've learned, you can look back here to remind yourself of what you learned. Now I'll turn to the center of this notebook. You're gonna see a price page. I show you this for two reasons. Let them get here. Let, take, take your time. Don't talk until everyone is here. This is important. 
All right, here, I show you this price list for two reasons. One, I cannot stand when I go to a class or a party and no one shows me the prices till the end. So at this point, they should all be shaking their head yes, right? And then right here, you're gonna see a bold price and a light colored price. Only pay attention to that bold price. That bold price is how everyone buys their oils. It's the best way. The other reason that I show people this page is because I talk fast. And so during the course of this class, you may hear an oil that helps with an earache or a tummy issue or maybe depression or sleep or something. And then you can mark it right here because if you have questions at the end, I'll be able to help you. And then if these are the oils you're wanting to try, doTERRA allows you to buy one oil if you want, but they also sell the oils in packages. And when you purchase them in packages, you're gonna save a ton of money. And so this basically will help me help you save the most money. Okay, all right, turning back to the front and let's get started. So today we're gonna to talk about four things. One, what is an essential oil? Two, why is doTERRA different? Three, how do you use essential oils? And four, how do you get them into your home? Those, so recap those, those are your four points, okay? Now, um, before, we, before we get started, I just want you guys to know my hope for this class is that you feel empowered and that at the end you feel like this is something easy, that you can do this at home because it is easy and that is exactly how I felt whenever I found doTERRA. So how, just think about the modern approach and how we do things nowadays. Um, when you go to the doctor, how many of you have gone to the doctor and gotten a prescription? Maybe you went in for hip pain or some knee pain or maybe you went in for a stomach upset and you came out with a prescription, right? And then what happens is those are synthetic prescriptions, man-made, and they cause all kinds of issues. So if you went in for pain, you came out after that med and you probably couldn't go to the bathroom very well, right? Or something, maybe you had a symptom. Has anybody had a symptom? Always somebody raises their hand, right? So ask them questions, right? So the modern approach is trying to fix or help someone's symptoms. And it's about a $6.5 trillion industry, but are we under, are we any healthier? We're not healthier. So if we wanna take a more natural approach, if anybody here has ever been to Walmart uh, and seen essential oils or maybe CVS, where have you guys seen essential oils? I love this part because they all, most of the time they will start shouting out where they see them. I'll say, I went to Best Buy the other day and they had essential oils at Best Buy. Everyone wants a more natural way to take care of themselves. And the difference between the natural approach, the essential oils, is when they're pure, they address the body's um, concerns at a cellular level. They are extracted from plants and they enhance both our physical and our emotional uh, health without uh, any side effects. So they're very safe right okay so let's talk about what is an essential oil so just to, to recap that part all I did was go up here and I didn't read from the paper because I've done it a lot of times but if you want to read from the paper read from the paper I asked them about their symptoms from medications I told them how oils are a natural way and everybody wants it right they're everywhere Walmart everywhere that's all I did that's called the whole host talking about a host and the whole um, having people introduce you and going through the hostess gift and then going through the whole modern approach versus the natural approach, that is prepare, that's like preparing for the class. And so that part is very, very important because that is getting the mindset right to be able to hear about natural way, natural essential oils, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go straight and we're gonna say, now what is an essential oil? This is the part where I always pull out my peppermint oil. I might have my peppermint oil in my hand. And then I say, look right here. And I have them point to it. Engage them. You see this green leaf right here? And then it's magnified and it's purple. You see that little white sack? How many of you have ever chopped fresh herbs? 
Have you ever uh, smelled cilantro, right? When you chop it, what happens? Everybody talks about the burst of aroma. And what happens is you get that burst of aroma. That's because you extracted essential oil yourself. Isn't that really cool? Well, you, the difference between those synthetics, those synthetics from the pharmaceutical companies and all the man-made things we come in contact with, uh, fumes and stuff like that, is those fumes cannot enter the cell wall. They actually block our cell receptors and that's what causes symptoms. But when we have the plant, which is just the aromatic compounds of a plant, every single plant has an essential oil. It's in the roots, it's in the bark, the seed, uh, it's in the stems and even the flower of that plant. And when it's extracted perfectly and gently, we can take all of those beneficial properties like how the oil protects the plant, how it fights external threats, and how it helps to build up that plant's immune system. And we can use it for our own benefit because our cells work so similarly, similarly together. And so the plant, all of those essential oils can actually enter into our cell walls, clean out our cells, bring in good information, and take out any bad information. And so this is when I like to sample peppermint. I do it this way. Um, this is totally starting to teach a class. Sorry, I'm going to stop in a second, but I do that part. So what it was important is that the opening of a class is when you are preparing for the class, right? So you're doing the host, you're introducing, the host is introducing you, you're edifying each other, and then you are saying, um, hey, I'm really excited to do this for you. You can thank them for their time, for being there. They could have been anywhere, right? But they chose to come see you. And then you're talking about the modern approach versus the um, natural approach. And you're saying, um, and what I want for you by the end of this class is that you feel empowered and that you feel um, like it's easy because it is easy. Um, and that's how I felt at, when I first found doTERRA. And then the other part I didn't mention is sometimes right after I say that, I'll say, um, and you're, you're really going to have a good time. And if this feels like it's something that fits into your family, then at the end, I'm going to show you how to get them. But if it doesn't, that's perfectly fine. And you're going to have a really great time. You're going to learn a lot and we're going to have peppermint brownies later. Or if you didn't bring those, don't say that, but you know what I mean? Um, so Hopefully that was clear. I might do a quick five minutes afterwards, but to re redo the, the um, outline of how I open a class without the hostess part. So let me know if you feel like you need that. Otherwise, hopefully this helped you, but make it your own. Just feel, if you feel like you just want to copy it, just copy it. Just make it very simple. Do it over and over. Watch yourself in the mirror. That will help you so much because that opening sets the tone for your class and when you can keep to those four topics don't go on tangents quickly get through them and then offer for them to go through the kits go through the kits offer for them make sure to show them that purple page and point to it you're gonna rock this out okay so you guys have a good day see you on wednesday next week